All right, here we are with the patient. Tell us what your name is and what brought you in. Uh, my name is Glenn LaPrey. Uh, I came in for some a bunch of issues, but some of breathing issues. I felt like I was breathing through a straw. Yeah, I had the cranial facial uh, release done uh, through a series of treatments. Uh, I got almost instant uh, relief just through my uh, my breathing. It's improved my breathing. Uh, it's helped me sleeping. And uh, it really, it probably opened up uh, maybe 50, 60 percent uh, improvement over what I was feeling before. Heck so yeah. Just a lot more um, efficient with my breathing. So. What's that change in your life? Uh, well, like I said, it's helped me sleep better. It's helped cool. me um, as I'm doing things, you know, running or doing sports. It's it's something I can just feel like I have a lot more um, oxygen I'm getting in and breathing and I don't have as much resistance with my breathing. So, Heck yeah. yeah. It turns out oxygen is cool and it's good to have <laughs> in the brain. And sure. if you can go through life and you have 50 to 60% more oxygen, that can change yeah. the course of a person's life. So let me just tell you what we're doing. This bone right here is called the sphenoid bone. Let's go inside the skull. It's red. You see this red bone? This bone separates the, the facial bones from the rest of the skull. All these little dividers between the skull are called sutures. And if you look at this red bone, look at this. There's a red right here. You know where your temples are? Right here on the side. And here in the face, every bone touches it. So guess what? If you look at the side view, of this nice little person. Check this out. That same bone is right here, the sphenoid. We just looked on the top, the roof of it, this red. Here's the bottom part of it. So what we do is we come in here, we actually mobilize and adjust this bone so that all the other cranial bones, the facial and the cranial, that's why it's called cranial facial. Cool. Tell us what you felt after we did this. Could you feel the effects of it somewhere? Yeah, it makes your teeth hurt a little bit. Would you say it's like a pain or what was um, it? Just a weird thing. Yeah, the sensation. The sensation. The procedure itself only lasts a few seconds, and that part isn't. It's it's a bit painful, but uh, not terrible. Just a little bit. But afterwards, you get some uh, like teeth ache or whatever. Like you're, like you've gone to the dentist and had braces on, and they've tightened the, you know, your teeth. And so so you we went up through here, yeah. but you can feel at least in most people's cases just like a tingle. I've yeah. never had a pain, but it kind of it, felt like an ache or something. Yeah, it's an ache. It's, I mean, it's clear that there's bones moving. And it's you can feel it moves. Yeah, along these suture lines, you can feel some people will feel like a little bit of a tingle right through here. Mm -hmm. And just knowing that the bones literally shifted and moved and people can drain better and they'll breathe better. And that's why we have patient after patient after patient with breathing problems or congestion or concussions. We get to mobilize these bones better and their brain functions a lot better or they get more oxygen to their brain and things like that. So yeah. thanks for sharing that. Sure. Yeah, no, I recommend it. So.